ready to get out in that stifling heat. Yeah, I'm not sweaty right now. I've got the air kind of spoiled riding around in this riding around in this van, but boom, here we go. End up using a lot of gasoline. Oh my god. Yeah. You feel it already. <clears throat> That's the best gift I've ever gotten in like a long time, man. Without that, I wouldn't have gotten this gigantic, huge. This thing is gigantic. It's uh, all aluminum tent thing, like umbrella. Ah, it's still a really glorious day halfway through the day. Welcome back to the compound. Or maybe you feel scared being here, sorry. <laughs> Look at all the garbage. Anyway, back to this lovely project. I went to a place called the Winner's Circle here in Juliet. It's like a high performance race car place. I went to a scrapyard, I went to a junkyard. I found a 454 engine just like this, only it was missing the top end upper intake manifold and everything that everything else that that entails so these are standard American um, threads and, and measurements <clears throat> now everything else that I'm looking at you know motors and the ones that uh, I went to Home Depot and Lowe's and the nuts and bolts that I found were the kind with that type of, uh, I don't know, they're like silver, like this color. That's the kind of stuff that the head ends up snapping off on. If you're not too careful about how much torque you put together, which there's not really a lot of torque put on here. It's more like tight snug. <clears throat> well, a lifetime of experience it says yeah, you know, I went I went to this place. Plus finding ones that were like exactly the length like that. With that washer right there. They both kind of top out. So I think I'm good. I don't want to bottom out on the you know, on the threading. <clears throat> I was worried about that. I know I, I way overthink things, but hey, you can't have you can't have something relatively simple completely go wrong. at a weird angle here. I mean, I was worried about the threading, everything, all of it. You know, because it's, it's aluminum and uh, you could tear it up pretty easily. And uh, once that happens, it's done. Drop my uh, I'm not sure. I'm not even, <clears throat> I'm not even putting any torque into it, I'm just drawing it down a little bit. A 
lot of things I don't I don't totally do right, but <clears throat> some things I just uh I go nuts over. As far as the workmanship quality is concerned. I make it where For me, I make it almost to the point where it would drive a sink crazy. It's a hot one out today. Oh. Where did that phone go? There it is. We'll have to edit that out. Phone like fell over and went down like two inches because <clears throat> I was trying to find a trying to find that perfect angle which is not easy to do when you're when you're impromptu like me but actually I, I think I've gotten I'll give myself credit I think I've gotten good at finding Nooks and crannies to uh, to place the phone. It's only lightly finger finger tightened. Let's see, what do we have over here? One, two, two, three. Two, three. Oh. Okay, that one's missing. And the front one's missing. Think. Remember, I lost. I took one out as an example, and I lost that one. That one, I think, is yep. That's in there. That's in there. So I, I'm only missing one, and I'll use the factory original. Wow, the heat is stifling. I got a commenter from a. From Orlando, Florida, commenting on a, uh, I think it's the Eco guys, yeah, commenting on the heat, the combined heat and humidity index of Orlando. Wow, he's like it gets 107 degrees. Whew. That's something, huh? <clears throat> that one right there, I cannot. That one right there, cannot get with the ratchet. I don't have my kid with me to make a help me make a silly video here, but I just have to hold on to it. Hold on to the camera.
I should have some bottled water in the refrigerator. The little mini fridges that I have in the warehouse, but my kids drank all of it. There's no, nothing left. So I might have to bug out of here. I'm just about out of water out of my jug. Uh, sweating like a hog. Torque it on there, kind of. Kind of, but not crazy. I'm all worried that it's not seated and sealed properly, but hey, they're bolts and they can only go down so far, right? <laughs> 